said over to you, does size matter in love, Kirsty? What do people say? Some great callers. The first one is Gemma on line one. Uh, morning, Gemma. Hi. Hiya. Um, thanks for picking up the phone. Does size matter then in love? Um, well, to me it does, unfortunately. Go on. Oh, yeah, it's, it's good to hear. What, what was your story then? Um, well, I met my husband, well, we went, I went to school together and he was right. quite fat then and right. I didn't fancy him at all. Right. And then I met him a couple of years ago and he'd lost an awful lot of weight and um, we ended up getting together and got married last year. Right. And since he got married he's put on a couple of stone again and I just don't fancy him anymore and, and it has changed the relationship quite a lot. Shallow. So what happens? <laughs> well, yeah. honest, honest to pick up the yeah. phone and say it. What yeah. happens next, Gemma? Uh, well, he's currently on a sex ban until he loses two stones. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make go. him lose it. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting tactic, Gemma. Yeah. Hmm. He was seen walking into Weight Watchers yesterday. Uh, <laughs> running. Running. How long's, how long's the sex ban been running? Um. A couple of months now, and um, it, it's getting there. But, I mean, it, I, I sound awful, but I've also just had a baby. Right. And I've managed to lose all my weight, and I just feel like I've made all the effort to try and look nice for him, and he's not doing it for me. I, I'm just concerned that the no-sex ban may lead to uh, a disproportionate growth in his physique on perhaps one side <laughs> or the other. <laughs> uh, you want to be careful of that, Gemma. Thank you very much for the call. Let's have another. Online two, we have Debbie. Debbie, good morning. Good morning. Does it matter, do our views of our loved ones change with loss or gain of weight? Well, what, what happened in my um, case, well, I lost eight and a half stone. Wow. And um, I, I done that because my husband was ten years younger than me and he was really, really handsome and everything. I thought, I need to lose weight to look nice with him. And when I lost it, he just, he just didn't like me anymore. He just um, mm. used to try and get me to eat and... He didn't like me buying nice clothes. He just he just wants me to put the weight back on. Now, you see, that troubles me, because I'm thinking there's someone, I don't know, tr working not, not with you, but against you. Maybe insecure as well. Yeah. You, you know, mm. all of a sudden, she's attractive. Mm. And um, maybe on the... Well, lustful. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't think he liked the idea I'd get more attention than him. That's which, right. Which is one there of the... It's one of the things that often comes through with, with uh, big weight loss, is, is that happens. Uh, are you still together? No, we're not together. He's got a new girlfriend now, and she's, like, a really, really large lady. Now, now Debbie, yeah. would you be tempted, were you tempted, to put the weight back on? I, I did put the weight back on for him. But obviously he's got his other girl now, so I've got to get back on my diet again now. Right. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Difficult. Well, I think, I mean, this is, you know, poor you on every level, but um, to a large extent, I think this is, this is what I've been saying, is that weight becomes a big icon, it becomes a big totem, and if you sort your weight out, then you sort everything else out. Actually, personalities are going to be personalities. And uh, um, there, he, which sounds like he, he was coming to you for a very sort of specific reason, um, mm. And it probably, as you say, something to do with low self-esteem or, mm. or uh, whatever. Um, but uh, um, I, I can't help feeling that, that you know, there's, there's someone out there for you. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just thinking, there's, when you're losing eight and a half stone, there's, it's more than just looking good for your partner, isn't it? Mm. I mean, there's clearly a health, health issues yeah. involved well, and, this is and so I mean, forth, you and therefore yeah. you must support someone. Who well, I, to... I'm surprised. I'm absolutely surprised that, that, that more men don't. I mean, if this is a big issue. I mean, uh, to me, it's... it's this is the whole point about having a mutual, having a long-term relationship, is that you're both in it together. And um, the lady before, I can sort of understand where she's coming from, that after a child and working so hard to, to you know, regain a level of fitness, yeah. there is... You, you could look across at your partner who's potentially not taking his health that so seriously. Pull your finger out. It is a bit. You've Although I'm surprised about the sex ban, because sex is a very good form of exercise. Yeah. <laughs> and really, if she went the other way and didn't leave him alone... He'd probably lose the two stone in a week. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> it's a thought, isn't it? I should do marriage guidance, <laughs> me. Just, you know, just thinking just that. Yeah. Buy me. Or as we like to call in the modern age, relationship guidance. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, thank you, Debbie. One more, quick one before okay, the break. OK, we have Jeff and he's on line three. Uh, Jeff, good morning. Hello, hello good morning. I'm go, not sure if it's a quick one. Um, go, go basically, uh, my partner and I, she's five to two. I'm, I'm quite a big, uh, big fellow, really. Um, we had a, a lad um, when she was great and curvy after after he was born, uh, but when he hit about two years old, you know, she grew massively, tripled her size, uh, right. really to the extent that you know my, my rugby shirts were skin tight on her, um, and it, it, it was it really you know put me off. Um, 
I used to play the uh, watch floor game. Uh, she, she would lie on the bed after a bath or something naked, and, and uh, it looked like she'd fallen from the 23rd floor. Um, um, you know, and that, that, was the, that was the kind of thing. And, and you know, she, she, the, the shame of it is, is that, um, you know, she missed the physical side of things more than I did, and, and she left with my lad. Um, and, you know, I, I, I was, you know, she missed the sex more than I did. You know, I was quite happy, really, with her. I still liked her, but she, you know, she went away. But uh, it's really because, um, you know, it wasn't just the look, it was actually the feel of it. You know, I didn't like the feel of, of the size of her. Um, and and it's, it's a shame. It's a bloody shame. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's... <laughs> <Scott. laughs> Yeah, um, I don't. I mean, it just. I mean, tri tri tripling in size is. Uh, I mean, if that's true, that's. Uh, well, she's I mean, still that size actually. She's um, yes, yeah, still really big, and uh, uh, the thing is, she was a petite. She's a five foot two, kind of a uh, Kylie Minogue size, really. Um, before, um, you know, but I love curves. You know, and after Cam, after Cam was born, you know, she was she was gorgeous. You know, really. Perfect. Why? Why did she do it then? Why? Did, why? I mean. Well, that, that's, that's a great. That's part of the great shame, you know, because we never actually really discussed why. Uh, why she felt the need to put so much weight on I me. Mean, she knew I wasn't happy with, with her weight. Um, Was she happy with her weight? Well, I don't know. I, mean, I can't imagine so. Um, yeah, I mean, it, to me, it doesn't sound as if either you were, were you yeah. happy with it, which seems so extraordinary that you wouldn't talk about well, it. Yeah. Well, you um, wouldn't know. You wouldn't just pick up. I mean. Yeah. Well. Because also, I mean, the fact that you were saying that actually there was there was a, a you know you weren't being a size fascist at all in the uh, uh, in the early days of it that you were enjoying her her new curvaceousness, but it was just going a bit too far. It sounds as if she was getting bigger and bigger from from again from a lack of self esteem yeah. um, and probably a lack of attention. Uh, that actually, if you're not speaking to her about these things, she probably felt as if you were moving apart quite literally. Mm. Well, and I wonder whether a lot of these. These instances are actually, you know, it's a, it's a physical symptom of things that are more Going complicated and yeah. much, Absolutely. much deeper. Got to be. Um, Jeff, thank you for the call.